What's good, Homer Squad? It's your boy, Homer Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all. And we got a video by this channel called Offending Everybody. Now, and this video is called How to Get Canceled. And as you see by what the thumbnail is in the little square in my middle section, you see a particular, you see Dr. Disrespect and you see a child there, right? So yeah, if you know about his situation, <laughs> hey, that's all you need to know. But, hey, I'm gonna show you something in the end. I'm gonna show you what this channel is whole thing about. But, but, but basically, with the name that's called, with the channel called Offending Everybody, he does not hold back. He full sends it, and in a way, he he in a way he does the dark he does like that dark humor comedy dark humor comedy very well and such because a lot of people are afraid a lot of people who are afraid to get a little edge, just a little edgy nowadays and such but him he'd be like nah he gonna say what he say and don't regret it but either way we about to check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe Follow me on all my socials up there, and without further ado, let's get into this. Doc, why? Why were you allegedly sending thirst text to? Did the power go to your head? Why would not be a my? The fact that it even showed the letter and such holo. So yeah, Doctor Disrespect. He was. You already know the whole situation, but if you didn't, he was basically caught texting minors and such. So yeah. Why? Why were you allegedly sending thirst text? Nah, it ain't allegedly. He nigga literally put out a tweet saying he that he he did. So trust me, it ain't it ain't alleged if he literally said it himself. To, did the power go hey, to your head? Hey, crazy. They become untouchable. They're just whispers. Who's gonna hear? Well, disgruntled Twitch employees heard, Doc. And unfortunately for you, they brought receipts. I think it's safe to yeah. say we all have one question. Twitch oh, employees heard, Doc. And unfortunately for you, they brought receipts. Damn it. Hold on. Who's I want to read it. Well, disgruntled Twitch employees heard, Doc. And unfortunately Hold on. for you, they brought I'm trying to pause. Receipts. Right here. Oh, and that's probably one of the person and such. He got banned because he got because he got caught 16 a minor in the exit in the in the then existing Twitch Whisper Whispers product, he was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The powers that be could read in plain text. <laughs> yeah, so basically that yeah, sixteen as it's called. As it's called. I think it's safe to say we all have one question in mind. How old? Cause it's bad either way, but there's such thing as worse, you know? 16, way to screw up your career. Six? Now again, these are just allegations, and it's not like he's been convicted of anything. But the evidence, like Doc and his trophies, is mounting. Let's start with Ground Zero. On June 21st, an ex-Twitch employee tweets that Doc is a diddler. June 22nd, Doc responds back with a panicked, Jake, seriously, I get it, it's a hot topic, but it's been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged, and they paid out the whole contract. Nigga, just be just because it's cello, that doesn't mean it's just gonna go away. Like in hell, that's the that's what most people need to realize. Just because certain things were settled, or even if it was settled or not, people are still people are still gonna look at you as certain type of way now. Cause shit, ever since they heard about Doctor Disrespect, I mean hell. With Pat, if y'all remember me reacting to that Pat God, Doctor Disrespect, this track and such, yeah. Words, it's just like that. Shit can travel out real quick, so it really don't matter and such it's if it's topic, settled it's or been not. Settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged, and they paid out the whole contract. So it could have been me. Oh, 
That's the fear of man about to lose his empire. Then a few hours yeah. later, Doc tweets more calculated. I didn't do anything wrong. June 23rd and 24th, more sources confirm the allegations. Then finally, on June 25th, Doc proves he doesn't have a PR team by starting a tweet with, let's cut the fucking bullshit. <laughs> wow. Not gonna drop the character, huh? Bold choice. Let's see how it plays out. First and foremost, I'd like to apologize. To who, Doc? Remember three days ago when you said you did nothing wrong? Yeah, that tweet like your victims didn't age well. Then Doc says, maybe the this man said a tweet like your age. Hold on, what he said? You did nothing wrong? Yeah. A tweet like your victims didn't age well. Then Doc says, yeah, maybe the most ridiculous thing in this. Let's see if he can catch it. A lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with Midnight Society and I, and we made the painful decision to collectively have him step down. <laughs> yeah, he used we. Oh, Doc. Yeah, we. Always messing up pronouns. Then he says, were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is, Yes. Well, that's all I needed to hear. Officers, yeah, like, yeah, doesn't mean he did anything, but you don't need a jury in the court of public opinion. If someone accuses you of being a diddler and at first you deny, then say, okay, sure, there were messages, then pat like, hold up, because it's over. To make it worse, he Yeah, like, nigga, that already, once you already confirmed that you was doing this shit, I don't give a damn what your other reasons are. I don't care. The point is, you shouldn't, it should never even be thought of or been done upon so I don't care what his other what else he was explaining about and such the minute he confirmed it that was all we need to know he nothing more nothing more, less then put it back in ah oh, doc always getting in trouble for putting it in but unlike you your advertisers can pull out midnight society chain Damn. memberships hell even mountain dew dumped you which is like a three saying they want pork you like you don't reject me i reject you <laughs> that's right companies are not staying 100 feet away from doc fearing he might touch yeah. their bottom line which is ironic when you think about <laughs> it brands that profit off exploiting children don't want to associate with a predator <laughs> really 77 grams of sugar and you're worried about this guy being toxic Okay. But just because you're losing some sponsors doesn't mean no one will support you. You'd be a perfect spokesperson for KFC, finger licking good. Or Nike, just do it. Or maybe even Skittles, taste the rainbow with your eyes closed. Whatever you decide, just make sure your wife does. <laughs> yeah, this is what I was talking about. You know what? Matter of fact, let me show you. Hold on, let me. Let me just show you his, like. I think he has it on. No. Let me just show you what his whole channel is about. So look, this is literally what his main, t his like, I guess you can say model of his topic is about. You see what, this is where it says. Literally says, saying jokes that make some laugh and some but hurt. So hey, all I can say is if you feel some type of way about him, does he care? Not really. <laughs> So, hey, you could either laugh or you could just don't even watch at all. It's up to you. But all I'm saying is, if you can't laugh at certain dark... if Because let's be honest. In what goes on in the world right now, let's be honest. I don't care what you say. We all need a little laugh from time to time. So certain... Especially when it's aiming at people who are the PDF files. Yeah, we definitely need a laugh. So you. He'd be a perfect spokesperson for KFC. Finger looking good. Or it's Nike, crazy. just do it. Or maybe even Skittles. Taste the rainbow with your eyes closed. Whatever you decide, just that's make crazy. sure your wife doesn't know about it. That's right. You think it's the internet or public you have to worry about? No. Yeah, that's worse. Assassin. Because the scene you. That one was. That was worse too. That like, bro. It's also the scene you cheated on your wife. <laughs> I'm sorry. Stop caught cheating on your wife. Who knows how many the firm handshakes you gave out. So prepare for war, buddy, because women don't forget. They just let their memories boil, waiting to give you their hot finisher. Mm, just saving every gonna be late text to use as ammo against you in court. That tactical vest isn't gonna protect you from all the shots she's firing. Money, mm. custody, your Diablo VT, she's gonna take it all. No. But it doesn't mean she won. You see, the only person that wins in all of this is your wife's attorney. Ah, he's probably <laughs> climaxing from every notification. More evidence. Oh, more evidence. He's definitely Googling beachfront property at full moon. Nest. If anyone's a predator, it's that guy. Probably watching it rooting for the clown. But getting back to the oh, source, one question that's been on my mind throughout all this is, how did they meet? Did he catch a glimpse of Stacy 2013 coming to chat saying, let's go. Tim screaming. Dude! Yeah. Dude! But all Doc hears is,
Why you gotta put Tim the Tap Man there? Leave leave him out of this. Let's go. Tim screaming. Dude! Yeah. Dude! But all Why that hears is Stacy. You end stream early, turn on that incognito browser thinking, I'm good. Then start looking for deets in the profile for direct ways of contact. Well, once you get That's that crazy. email, what do you say? Can't reveal your true intentions? Well, not yet. So maybe you start with free merch. That's, That's right, start getting used to accepting your product. And before you know it, you'll be picking up your kids at the bus stop. Well, either that or hear the officer yell, Stop! Jokes aside, the most evident <laughs> part about all this is, Doc has kids. At least one. Maybe two? I don't know. I didn't want And do you know how crazy that is? That the... It's already bad enough that they're trying to text minors, right? But what makes it more extra worse is when you have a family of your own. When you have kids of your own and you doing this? Nah. You you was already bad enough when you text it when you're having something to do with minors. But to think that you already is you married to a you married to your girl and you have kids of your own. And you're doing this shit, yeah. You a different type of fucked up. I don't care. Fucked up part about all this is Doc has kids. At least one. Maybe two? I don't know. I didn't want to Google Doc and kids so many times. Now let's say she still has her innocence. Yeah, that would be crazy. Imagine the bullying she must be getting. Just people shoving my oh, video yeah, down can... her throat. <laughs> like her father. Allegedly. <laughs> oh, cry. I'm crying just like his victims. Ooh, let's finish strong. So why would Doc do this? Why would he? This nigga said I'm crying. I'm crying like his victims. I'm done. <laughs> I told you, with him, he don't hold back. So if you are sensitive now, get off this chat. Get off. Just exit the video. <laughs> But damn. <laughs> I'm crying. I'm crying just like his victims. Ooh, let's finish strong. So why would Doc do this? Why would he risk it for an undercooked biscuit? Well, here's my theory. In 2017, yeah. Doc's rise to fame brought him money, power, and the freedom to indulge in nearly any desire. However, for some men, the true thrill lies in the chase, not the conquest. So once all of his goals were achieved, he craved something more, something forbidden. This insatiable desire clouded his judgment, leading him to make reckless decisions. And those decisions hurt people. It hurt his family, it hurt his fans, and most importantly, it hurt me. I just made a video using all my diddler material when this news drops. Oh, it's not fair. Where is my comfort blanket? So, Doc, does all this mean that you're canceled? No, of course not. Millions of people have voted for a guy that seems flightless. So don't worry, you're going to have fans no matter what. But you're going to need a new character. Now, I could go with the classic Little League coach or Tickle Me Elmo cosplayer, but I recommend someone that takes advantage of your unique talents. And that person is overzealous lifeguard. Think about it. You're left alone with a bunch of eye candy. You're the only one with a whistle. And every time you jump in the kiddie pool, people cheer. So that's my video on how to get canceled. If you want more Doc Roast, then check out my top to bottom video, which we all appreciate how well that thumbnail aged. <laughs> oh, and just remember, very if much so. talks like a predator, then get him out of the kiddie pool. Doc's favorite game is D&D. That's right, diddling and dashing. He never said what kind of doctor he was, and I'm starting to think it was pediatrician. Now we know what Doc really meant when he said violence, speed, momentum. Mm, you know what you want. Yeah, that nigga is something else. <laughs> this man is something else. Hey, shout out to offending everybody, but... Yep, that is one way to get your career canceled. <laughs> Yeah, Dr. Disrespect, mm -mm, he done. I, I, and he say, is he not canceled? Nigga, the minute they hear about you doing something with kids, you're canceled. In my book. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. It's been your boy, Homo Ziggy, signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. And no diddling of no kids in any sorts of way message that should be plainly obvious i'm out